So in this quick tutorial, I'd like to show you how to set up Zoom so that you can use two monitors. So the first thing is, if you've got two monitors, make sure that your monitors are extended and you do that by holding your Windows key down and pressing P and this brings up this particular menu and then change from duplicate if you're duplicate and go over to extended. Then make sure that your screen is in the right and correct position. So to do that, just right click on your desktop, come down to display settings and position your monitors. You can see I've got four monitors here, but if you've only got two, just position them by holding your left mouse button and dragging them to their particular position, either right or left from your main PC monitor. And then when you have moved it, if I just move this one, you'll see that you've got an apply just here. So I'm just gonna move it back down to where it was, apply, and close this screen. So now when you've downloaded Zoom and you've got this on your PC, you've got this window. If you come over to the settings cog, click that, and make sure that you've got a tick in use dual monitors. This is quite important if you're following a course. So what you do is share the monitor that you're actually working on. So that means by sharing it, I'll be able to dip in and have a look at what you're doing. If you've got questions, I can look at your particular monitor and give you the answers because I can see directly your, if it's a spreadsheet, your spreadsheet that you're working on. If you don't tick this, what happens is when you share your spreadsheet or your monitor, you lose the ability to view mine. So by ticking this, you'll be able to watch mine and share yours at the same time. So close this window down. Now I'm going to join a meeting that I've got set up on another PC so you can actually see what it's like. So let's join the meeting. As you can see, over on the left screen is the trainer spreadsheet so I can't control that because that's being controlled by the trainer but over on the right is my spreadsheet that I can practice on. Now what I need to do is share this particular screen so if I bring the zoom meeting back up click share screen and I'm going to share screen number one click share okay so now I'm sharing my spreadsheet here and the trainer is sharing the trainer's screen and that's what I can see on the left. So anytime the trainer wants to see my particular spreadsheet that I'm working on in this case, then all the trainer's got to do is just change the trainer's view. So it doesn't actually affect you in any way you can see the trainers one on the left here and you can see your own on the right so hopefully that helps you setting up dual monitors with zoom